it was pretty primitive uh, in 1961, and we, we needed to get better every time. And we got most things right. But, you know, we killed the Apollo 1 crew. We killed the Soviets, killed a couple of crews. We killed the Challenger crew. We killed the Columbia crew. You know, um, all of those were just the worst type of failure for us not recognizing the speed with which we needed to change things. And uh, it's always been commercial. You know, even when when Al Shepard flew, there were those were commercial companies building the hardware for the rocket and the spaceship, the little Mercury capsule that he flew. And the space shuttle that I helped fly was built by Rockwell and, you know, all of that. So it's always been commercial companies. But the real question is, can we get the technology good enough that NASA doesn't have to specify every single thing the commercial company is going to build. Instead, like when you rent a car, you don't say, okay, and this is how I want the, the, you know, the pinion bearings to work and, and the type of transmission gear metallurgy design. You just say, I just want a car that'll take me to Chicago and back. And then somebody else does all the engineering. And that's hopefully where we're getting to in space flight now, where NASA's done and the other space agencies have done all the hard and, and low profit work to get all that structure. And now companies can come in and not be told what to do, but instead just um, what, you know, the, the product they need to provide or the service they need to provide.